Hello everyone, welcome back to Tin and Max. I'm Max, and today we're going to be talking about Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania. I just watched this movie as it just came out this weekend, and I really have some thoughts on it that I wanted to make sure to share with you right away. Uh, first off, with the no spoilers um, uh, part of this video, it really was a fun movie, but I kind of left going, meh. It really isn't something that you have to watch or you have to go see right away. There's not going to be any big spoilers or big reveals that happen in this movie. I mean, honestly, it kind of was just fun and goofy. Now, if you really like the fun and goofy type movies, that's great. However, unlike what they did with like Thor Ragnarok, I don't feel like this movie really brought in a great plot or story. Ant-Man and the Wasp and the family find themselves stuck in the quantum realm. And basically, as we all know from the trailer, there is Kang down there who meets with them as well. And it really is something that is kind of like shows off Kang. Um, but before I get into kind of spoilers, I want to make sure um, that I, I don't say anything else about Kang. Because there's more to come in that later part of this video. But it really just didn't have a great story, not really a great plot. And... I definitely do think it's worth a watch, especially if you are a Marvel fan. However, it isn't something that is just, again, making me leave the movie theater and talking about all these cool moments. It really is just something that was, yeah, I mean, that was a fun movie. Um, and, and again, really goofy. Um, kind of in between like Thor Ragnarok and the new Thor movie that I literally can't remember the name because uh, Thor Love and Thunder. There it is. There it is. Well, now on to the spoiler part of the review. So please, again, here's your warning. If you are uh, wanting to make sure to watch the movie before you hear my thoughts on some specific plot points or specific things, this is your warning to stop right now. Okay, so now on to the spoilers. I couldn't stand how easily both Kang and MODOK were defeated. First, let's talk about MODOK. MODOK is revealed to be the main bad guy from part one, which was the original Wasp. Um, and that's right, it's Brendan. Um, he comes back and is MODOK. Now, here's my big issue with MODOK. The entire movie, they basically kind of make a joke about him. They first introduce him as this amazing killing machine, obviously, what MODOK is. But then, it kind of just becomes a joke throughout the movie. And we literally see in the movie that Cassie, uh, Scott's daughter, is really not able to fight very well. Um, there's multiple times where she gets up and tries to punch somebody, but doesn't really know how to do this. Um, and towards the end of the movie, MODOK gets sent to actually kill Cassie. Well, somehow through a lot of running and then actually be fighting, Cassie beats MODOK, which again just makes no sense as MODOK has been this killing machine for Kang for multiple years. And people are scared of MODOK in this universe, in this quantum mania universe. And it's just crazy to me that Cassie somehow could beat him. Also, the change of character that he has. I mean, imagine Ant-Man beat him, right? Beat him, set him down to Quantumania for multiple years. He was stuck and he had his entire body changed. I mean, talk about like a Darth Vader, but like way worse where his face is way expanded and he has baby arms and baby legs. And yet he just kind of forgives Scott and doesn't really care too much i mean yeah he tries to kill like all of them at first but then he has a change of heart due to just he is the way he is and he wants to be told what to do i it just doesn't make a lot of sense to me and then on to kang kang they do a great job for two-thirds of the movie setting him up as the main bad guy the main villain that we know and we were excited to see for loki but then kind of the third part of the movie he really doesn't do much and when he does fight for a second there's a scene that is so cool he's killing everyone killing everything in his sight and then all of a sudden the ants come in which these are technological ants now that have been there for a really long time ever since they came down and they're able to kind of defeat him until he fights scott in hand-to-hand -hand combat which he pretty much wins easily but for some reason as he's winning it easily also moves Scott close to like the main motor that has been the whole 
reason for the movie in the first place because Kang is trying to get out to use this motor. I know I'm kind of doing a lot of run-on sentences, but it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Really, I think that Kang, who is so smart and has been is on such a journey and wanting to kill all the other versions of himself, and has, I mean, we, we see that there are memories of Kang killing and conquering worlds and destroying timelines, and yet he loses to ants, and he loses to because he doesn't good hand to hand combat, but moves Scott into like the exact place that his motor's at. Really doesn't make a lot of sense. Now, again, I do really actually enjoy the movie. It was a lot of fun to watch, and um, there were so many goofy parts, but that's another issue for me a little bit. They had so many goofy parts in times that it really didn't make sense. There's a whole scene where um, Ant-Man is going down to try to sink, no, it's not sink, to shrink the motor um, for Kang. And as he's going down there, you basically lose sight of yourself and there's a ton of different versions of yourself that come out for all the different probable things that you could do, all the probabilities. And there's just a random one of Scott dressed as his Baskin Robbins self and that really doesn't make sense to me. They put the joke in there and then they make it like four or five more times during this probability scene. It just, again, it's just they're kind of beating a dead horse. There were times where the jokes were funny and it was great and good timed. And then there were times where they just forced it just to make a joke. And that's my kind of my issue with where the Marvel movies have been heading. Thor Love and Thunder and this movie, I think both did that really to a fault. Um, where they would put a lot of jokes in it to make it goofy, to try to make it fun. But it really took away from the story and actually didn't make you care about the characters as much. And then let's talk about the ending. So in the ending of this movie, you know, Kang loses and dies, the version of Kang that we're seeing anyways, and Scott and everyone gets home and lives happily ever after, knowing that Kangs out there are probably gonna come and destroy the world. Um, this is something that's referred to. Now here's my issue with this. This is the exact same conclusion we had at the end of Loki season one, that there are gonna be so many Kangs now that are coming out and gonna destroy everything, so really, this movie didn't move the Marvel Universe at all. I mean, all we saw was that there is a quantum universe and that, honestly, that's really it. That Cassie maybe now has a suit and is able to fight a little bit. But really, there wasn't any plot points. There weren't any moving of the story besides that now the Kangs are coming, which again, we already had that at the end of Loki. So... I really don't think this is a movie that is going to go down as like a great Marvel movie by any means. Again, it was fun. It's worth the watch if you like Marvel movies and if you like Ant-Man. But really, they, they took away the best part of Ant-Man, in my opinion, which is his little criminal crew. And they just filled it with a, a trying to make, make it a little too goofy. And they just really didn't have a great story or plot. But those are my initial thoughts for Ant-Man Quantumania. If you watched the movie, comment down below. What did you think about the movie? Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know on that. And make sure to subscribe. We're on our way to 1,000 subscribers. And we'll see you guys next time.